Welcome to SBS Parts Dragonfire Racing Can-Am Commander Stage 1 Clutch Kit Install. This kit will improve your commander's low to mid-range acceleration, enhanced auto response, and back shifting, and more efficiently transfer power from your commander down to the ground, as well as decrease drive belt slippage. The clutch kit can be purchased in three different stages and custom tuned based on your vehicle's weight, tire size, and engine modifications. Installation of this kit requires 10mm, 19mm, and 17mm sockets, a 4mm Allen head wrench, and a piece of wood to hold the clutch in place, a pry bar to push the primary and secondary clutches back into place after spring installation are also helpful. You do not need a clutch puller tool to install this kit on this vehicle. If you haven't recently changed your vehicle's belt, this is the time to do it. We recommend a Ma Maverick clutch belt or G-Force commander replacement belt as the stock commander belt can weaken quickly. The first step in the installation is removal of the seats and plastics beneath the seats. It is also easier to remove the clutch cover with the small skid plate below the clutch kit removed. Once the clutch cover bolts are removed with a 10mm socket, remove the clutch cover from the clutch housing. Next, remove the clutch primary bolt. The clutch primary is spring loaded and may pop out once the bolt is removed. If it does not, tap the primary lightly with a rubber mallet. Once the clutch Primary is removed, separate the two clutch pieces to access the spring and weights. For this clutch kit, the weights are all of equal weight. If you have mixed weights as part of the clutch kit you ordered, make sure they are installed opposite each other in the clutch housing to keep the clutch balanced. Use a 25 Torx bit and a 10 millimeter wrench to remove each weight, making sure to hold on to the washers on each side of the weight. They will be reused when you install the new clutch weights. Once all of the stock weights are removed, place the washers on each side of the new clutch weights and install each one in the clutch housing. This is what the clutch housing looks like with all of the new weights installed. Next, remove the secondary clutch retaining bolt. Like the primary clutch, it too is spring loaded and the secondary clutch will likely pop right out. These are the primary and secondary springs installed. They will both be replaced with this kit. Once you've placed the red secondary spring on the helix, push the secondary clutch back in place. This is a two-man job and will likely require the use of a pry bar to compress the spring sufficiently to thread the secondary bolt back in place. Torque down the secondary bolt according to the specs and the instructions. Once the secondary is torqued down, you can replace the belt on the secondary clutch. Once you put the primary clutch assembly back together, drop the white spring in place on the back of the clutch and push it back into place on the clutch housing. This too may require the use of a pry bar to compress the spring enough to reinstall the primary clutch assembly. Torque down the primary clutch bolt according to the specs and the instructions and use the primary clutch adjustment bolt to adjust the expansion and compression of the secondary clutch. Replace the clutch housing cover and tighten down the housing bolts then replace the interior plastics and seats. Thank you for watching SBS Parts Dragonfire Racing Stage 1 Clutch Kit Install for the Can-Am Commander. For the best prices and widest selection online for Can-Am Commander parts, visit www.sbsparts.com.